This video will cover the topic, Finding the Final Amount in a Word Problem on Continuous Exponential Growth or Decay. Let's start by writing out our equation and defining each variable and constant needed to solve problems of this type. The equation for continuous exponential growth or decay is a equals a sub zero times e raised to the rt power. a represents the final amount at time t. a sub zero represents the initial amount at time t equals zero. If the given problem describes exponential growth, a will be greater than a sub zero. And if the problem describes exponential decay, then a will be less than a sub zero. e refers to Euler's number, which is a constant value available on the Alex graphing calculator. r represents the relative rate of growth, or decay. Again, if the problem describes exponential growth, then r will be greater than zero. And if the problem describes exponential decay, then r will be less than zero. And lastly, t represents time. I think I'm starting to understand this equation, but can we do a quick example? Sure. The mass of a radioactive substance follows a continuous exponential decay model. A sample of this radioactive substance has an initial mass of 6,561 kilograms and decreases continuously at a relative rate of 5% per day. Find the mass of the sample after two days. Do not round any intermediate computations and make sure to round your answer to the nearest tenth. Since this problem asks for continuous exponential decay, we know that our final answer for a must be smaller than the initial value of a sub zero. We also know that the relative rate r will be negative, right? Exactly. The initial mass is 6,561 kilograms. The rate is negative 0.05. The time is two days, and we are asked to find the final amount A. Substituting values into the equation reads 6,561E raised to the negative 0.05 times two, which simplifies to 5,936 Point six three eight two etc. But since the problem asks for our answer rounded to the nearest tenth, a is equal to 5,936.6 kilograms. Okay, this is starting to make sense, but can we also do an example of exponential growth just to be sure? Sure. The number of bacteria in a certain population is predicted to increase according to a continuous exponential growth model at a relative rate of 17% per hour. Suppose that a sample culture has an initial population of 517 bacteria. Find the predicted population after five hours. Do not round any intermediate computations and round your answer to the nearest tenth. For this problem, the rate should be positive 0.17 since the bacteria exhibited exponential growth, right? Exactly. The initial population is A sub 0 equals 517 bacteria, and we are asked to find the predicted population after T equals 5 hours of growth. Substituting the given values into our equation yields A equals 517E raised to the 0.17 times 5 power, which simplifies to 1,209.6 bacteria after rounding to the nearest tenth. Okay, I think I understand this topic now. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned. We begin by identifying whether our rate is positive or negative based on the given description of continuous exponential growth or decay. Next, we substitute our given values of the initial amount and time into the continuous exponential growth or decay equation and solve for the final amount. That's right. 